everybody, I'm Carol Kemry, creator of Caramel Colors, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint your entire kitchen in a weekend. Ready? Here we go. So we'll pretend it's a Friday night and you've taken all the doors off of your kitchen, taken the hinges off, and we're going to scrub them with something like Simple Green to get all the grease off. So we'll just use it straight up on the cabinet, and I like to use the green side of a scrubby and I give them a really good scrub. After I've done that to each cabinet door, I'm going to rinse them and let them dry overnight. And that's my job for Friday. Remember at this point, if you want to change the hardware, you may want to fill a hole or add, an, or add a hole for new hardware that's going to go on the cabinet at the end. Um, and certainly if you have any chipping or peeling paint, now would be the time to make sure you got rid of that. The most important thing is that all kitchen cabinets are greasy, but some of them have extra grease or wax if they've ever been washed with something like Murphy's Oil Soap or um, Liquid Gold, any of those kinds of uh, things that contain waxes in them. That has to come off with either vinegar or mineral spirits. And once you've cleaned them and dried them overnight, we'll be ready to go. Now it's Saturday morning and your drawers are in, and the face frames of your cabinets in the kitchen are clean and dry. And here's a little trick to painting them. I like to put something underneath like some old Tupperware or anything that you can think of, some tuna fish cans, funny things, just to hold up your cabinet doors, make sure they're not wobbly. And then you can paint right around the edges with your roller, okay? This is how easy it is to apply. We're going to be using our uh, botanical paint in our most popular color, which is gardenia. It's a beautiful, beautiful, very neutral off-white. And the great thing about caramel colors is you don't need any special tools. This you can get at any um, hardware store. It's called an all-purpose fabric roller. It seems fuzzy and make sure that you get one that doesn't have a button on the end, okay? And this is a really inexpensive little chip brush. Both of these are available at caramel colors, but you can get them anywhere. That's the beauty of our paint. And um, we're going to, you can use a brush if you like, just to maybe get in the edges a little bit like this so the paint doesn't build up too heavily in the edges and will dry really quick. That's how simple it is. And then everything with caramel colors gets rolled. So all we have to do is take some, you could use a roller tray, sad to say, I use a paper plate and just roll it on. And the reason you don't want that button on the roller is because you can just take our paint and get in the crevices even without a brush. This is how simple it is. See how easy that is? I go to the edges. Just go around and be sure that you use enough product it will go really far, you don't have to worry. And also that I'm putting no pressure whatsoever on the roller at all. And even if it looks like it's a little bit high and raised, that's okay. It will all level out when it dries. So we painted our first coat this morning because pretend it's still Saturday here. And then we went out and had our day. And now I'm back this afternoon, Saturday afternoon. This is dry and already I can test this with my fingernail. And you can see it's bonding like crazy in just a couple of hours. So we are dry and ready to go. So I'm just going to review how easy this is. I'm going to come into my crevices with my little brush. And then I'm going to roll. No expertise needed to do this, that's for sure. And we're going to see now the beauty of this with two coats.
So yesterday was Saturday. We put a coat on in the morning and one coat in the afternoon. Now our botanical collection has a top coat already in it. So this surface is now protected and scrubbable. But if you're like our family and you love to cook and you love to eat in your kitchen, while everything is apart in the kitchen, I like to put one coat of Caramel Colors top coat for an extra protection. It's easy because all the doors are down and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. And we're gonna do it Sunday morning so that Sunday afternoon we can put our kitchen back together. Sunday night, our kitchen is finished. Time for a glass of wine. <laughs>